Hey everybody, today I want to talk to you about my, my realization on your dreams and your actions and, and how your dreams, which is your goals, subliminally control your actions, okay? And I'm going to do the best to paint the picture to you based on my vision and my nuances of understanding. And what it is is if you tell yourself, like there's a saying that goes, if you aim for high, you normally get middle. And if you aim for the middle, you generally get low, right? And it's so true in a way because I've heard that statement the last 10 years. And I'm looking at it, my life today where I'm at. And I realize there's a lot of subliminal correlation that connects to our actions, okay? And I'll explain what I mean, okay? For instance, if your goal was to get a Honda Accord car, and um, let's just say that for example, when, when that is your goal, your working habits and your actions that you currently have in that moment to get the Honda Accord generally isn't amplified enough. Meaning your your subliminal, your subconsciousness uh, working behavior doesn't quite get you up to the Honda Accord. And you kind of get a used Honda Accord. Generally, that's what happens. If you kind of look at your friends around you, if you look at people around you, uh, I'm not talking to them in, in any shape or way of bad uh, or negativity, but just analyzing human behavior um, and psychology uh, and understanding their goals, like you kind of see that their goals only bring them halfway because if we want the Honda Accord, we have to work 100%, but it's, I don't believe anybody works 100%. Everybody works, you know, kind of 20, 30, 40, 50%, and then whatever that bracket is that duration of work ethic that will get them that be something in between there okay so if you say you know what i want um you know exotic car now for instance for example like i want a lamborghini your working habits will definitely get you to afford or uh, surpass a lot of uh levels of antes which is like you know i want to I, I you know i you know, I can get a Honda Accord, no problem, make a problem without even having to think about it every month. Like, I can just drive this car and not even worry about the payment, which is a beautiful uh, thing because a lot of people don't like payments every month. But imagine that payment was just automatically made every month and you didn't have to think about it. It was mindless, okay? That's what I'm trying to say right now. You, you kind of surpass that ante, that level of thinking, that level of, you know, how much intensity you have to put into it. So if you say your goal was, you know, I want... Um, you know, 10 real estate property, right? And, you know, you, you get five or four at the end of the year for 10. That's because you aim for 10 and you got five or, or four. Now, you, imagine you aim for 20, now you got 10. So um, what my point is, is you always wanna amplify what your goals and your and your aspirations and your vision is a little bit more, maybe a lot more, maybe double it, you know, because it creates a subliminal action. That means, you know, I can easily speak for today, meaning, you know, I didn't have a goal. I just wanted to build a perfect company, uh, the, the best company I could build, you know, and, and um, you know, we now have about, you know, between five to eight employees um, and so a lot of contractors on the sides. And, um, you know, when we built that, when after I built that business, I didn't care what car I drove. I didn't care what happens from there. I just knew I was always going to be okay. That having a car was going to be mindless. It didn't have to be hard work. It didn't have to be like, oh my God, I want that, right? It was just like, work hard and all this will come without having to think about it. So I worked my ass off. I worked the smartest and the best I could with what I knew that moment to get what I have today, which is mindless, which is easy, which was simple, okay? But I'm thinking about it now, I'm like, imagine I did have a goal. Imagine um, I could set goals for myself. It wasn't just I wanted the best company, but now maybe my work ethic subliminally will be more than what it could be, and now I have more than what I have, naturally, okay? So it's very, this is sort of a, a, a very, this video is sort of like, 
you know, it's not a practical thing to, to kind of grasp on, but I'm trying to set the perspective for you all to understand your subliminal uh, vision currently where you're at, what you have in life. Now, I'm not saying, you know, to be materialistic. I'm just saying that subliminally, what we said in our heads here, you know, affects our day-to-day -day action, okay? So it's really crucial that we're very aware and we look back, you know, it's 2019 today, looking back five years from now, you know, what has life been? How hard have I worked? What have I achieved? What do I have now that I feel like I'm struggling with? What I feel like I have now that I don't struggle with and why? You know, and it's because I believe a lot of it is tied to our subliminal vision that we have for ourselves, you know? Like, I just got off the phone with my business partner and I, I was thinking, you know, wow, we, you know, we want, 20 unit apartments, 25, 50 of them. Now I'm, my brain is gonna be, I'm trying to set it into my paradigm, to my subliminal brain that that is the norm. That 25, 50 unit apartments, real estate wise, is the normal, is the norm. So that what does that mean? That means that my day to day waking up my habits, my routine, the things I do, which a lot of millionaires talk about, like millionaire routines versus the broke people's routines are completely different. It's all routine based. It's what they do versus what the others don't do and do, right? That wastes time, that doesn't you know, help them make money, that's, uh, that pays $10 an hour versus doing the, doing the smarter job and leaving the, hard, or leaving the $10 an hour job to other people, things of that nature, right? It's changing the way you think, changing the way you do. And, and that ties to a, very, a lot of subliminalness. Like, you know, you, you, I, I believe that you can't just try to do stuff without setting goals because you don't really understand. Um, the brain doesn't feel the day-to-day -day, um, nuance of what you need to do to get there, you know? I'm not sure, I'm hoping this video is, is as clear as possible. I hope you guys are understanding what I'm trying to say. Um, there might be some miscommunication here, but I'm really just making this video because having goals and sending them higher will get you closer to those goals versus just saying, I want this and this is what I want. Because most likely you're gonna hit right in the middle and you're gonna miss that gap and everything above that you really wanna achieve, you know? And um, that's what I, I told my business partner. I, he, you know, he was, I want five or six of them. I said, no, I want 25, 50 of them. And you have to get it into your subconscious brain, whether it's thinking about it consciously every morning, having a routine to think about it, so it becomes your subconsciousness, and then you act on it. It's, it's what I mean is it's kind of crazy today when you have you know old friends and uh, new friends that look at your life and you go, man, like, how did you achieve all this? And I just thought to myself, I'm like, I don't know, it's just normal. It's just a part of life. Like, what do you mean? Like, how much did I achieve? I don't think I achieved really anything. Anybody that really achieved anything, you know, that they that they put a lot of work into, to them, it's just the norm now. But if you, if you got handed to on a silver platter, now you're gonna feel like, oh my God, I'm a big shot. You know, you're not, you're not, you're not humble anymore. You're, um, you're very like, you're not modest anymore. You're very like, People that just get these things, they just become very um, sort of arrogant and things of that nature. I believe that's what happens psychologically to become arrogant because they didn't work for it. They just, it was just handed to them, you know? Um, so I hope this video helps you out. I hope it helps one of you out. I hope this video sort of um, gives you a perspective on your, in your own insight in your, in your mind because if we don't fix this, nothing around us will be fixed, you know? Um, so comment below if you have any questions. I hope that this video helps some of you guys out. If you have any questions on little uh, on detailed questions to what I'm trying to say, uh, I don't mind replying back. I'm always you know uh, replying to people. So I hope it helps. Help, hope this video helps you guys out in some way. Comment if you have any questions. If you like like the video, uh, thank you very much. Have a good day.